Hey guys, Steve Welcher, Bima Toyota. I uh, got something else for us again here. So I've uh, been bringing you the build sheets as I see them start to populate for the Tundra. Um, and I've already brought you the Pro and I've already brought you the 1794. Now I've just seen the first Platinum that has uh, allocated anywhere in the country. So I um, wanted to bring you the information on the first Platinum uh, hybrid iForce Max. Toyota Tundra 2022 model. Um, def definitely, guys, let me know what you think. But we're going to do this the same way we've done them before. So there is absolutely no surprise in the way that I'm going to do this. So you can kind of see I've got a little... We'll move this around a little bit. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this right here. So obviously 2022 Tundra Platinum Hybrid Vehicle. Crew Max. Now this one's got the six and a half foot bed. So you can have either the five and a half or the six and a half foot bed, right? So with the six and a half foot, the Platinum's gonna have an 8432 is your model code, of course. So base model before any delivery processing and handling 63720. So that's no options. And in order to even get it to the dealership, you gotta add this to it. So you're about, you know, what is it, 65 and change um, before you add anything to it. This particular vehicle has about $5,000 worth of factory install packages and accessories. Brings the total price of this one up to 70,453. Now I will say that there were two of them that were in there that were allocated. The other one was 69.9. So realistically speaking, you're gonna have some type of installed packages on there and you're going to most likely have somewhere right around that $70,000 price tag on your Platinum in the iForce Max. Um, combined fuel economy is 20 miles per gallon. That's 19 city, 22 highway. Um, Definitely was hoping to be a lot more net, but uh, they went for power instead of economy. So um, that is the reason that the fuel economy is there. Still better than the uh, gas version by a couple of miles per gallon. Uh, this one's got the advanced package here. Uh, it's got load leveling, rear height control, air suspension, the adaptable various variable suspension here, and a 10 inch color heads up display. That is a really cool package right there for you guys. Um, then you see, and you'll see that 1645 is the cost on that package. Then you can see below there power running boards and a power bed step. So when you have the power running boards, you do get the bed step with it. Uh, 1350 is your price on that. All weather floor liners, you're probably going to have floor liners on about everything. It's 169 bucks. This one's got the hard, hard tonneau cover. A lot of people ask me to do the videos on the hard tonneau cover. I will do that uh, as soon as I count one. Um, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I will do that for you guys. So you guys can take a look at that. All right, so then the other option that was on this one, if we take a look down there, was that spray on bed liner. I did a video so you can see what the difference is on the spray on bed liner as opposed to leaving it without that. So you guys can take a look at that because you do have your composite bed now. Um, so definitely take a look at that and see what you think. So gonna kind of go down into your mechanical and your performance here. So your engine is your iForce Max 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 hybrid 437 horsepower at 5200 rpm 583 foot pounds of torque at 2400 rpms this thing's a monster for towing guys uh twin turbo chargers of course your ignition system uh, has a conventional 12 volt starter uh, it's rated as a low emissions vehicle so um, most hybrid lanes that i see say that they're or hybrid um uh, hub lanes that I see say that hybrids and low emissions vehicles are allowed there so you can drive your Tundra most likely in a hybrid lane definitely check your local regulations for that of course so uh, has the 288 volt sealed nickel metal hydride battery um, and one just above there it's uh, electric motor power is 48 horsepower that it adds from the electric motor uh, 10 speed transmission so you have the same transmission on both of the hybrid and the non hybrids or the iForce Max or non um, then your sequential shift mode, uphill, downhill, shift logic, your suspension. Um, this is on both the hybrid and non, your independent double wishbone suspension. Um, it is a game changer for Toyota. So um, it's got your coil spring, multi-link rear suspension. That is just a game changer, guys. Um, it used to have the leaf springs back there and, and this rides so much better than what the old one used to. And the old one, to be quite honest, was not that bad, just so you know. Um, brakes, power assist of ventilated 13.9 inch front brakes with opposed dual piston brake calipers. Like I said before on my other videos, that means you have four pistons that are 
opposing each other. So, so two on either side and it makes for better braking. It's, it's more solid. When you drive this truck, you'll see why this one breaks a whole lot better than most everything else you're going to drive because uh, of those opposed dual piston brake calipers there. Um, and on the back, it's a 13.6 rear disc brake with just the single piston. Obviously, most of your braking is done by the front brakes. Uh, electronic parking brake, so it'll turn on turn on or turn off itself for you. Your ultra high strength steel cabin construction with your aluminum hood and front door panels. That's for weight guys so that keeps you a little bit lighter. Um, your um, body frame active grill shutters, uh, towing, you have your integrated brake controller, um, your multi-informational display screen, trailer brake type gain, manual trailer brake output controls. You can set this thing up and tell it what you're pulling and it will know. So um, it's really cool. So trailer sway control, so it'll help keep your trailer from swaying. Your steering wheel turn. So lock to lock is 3.4. That means that you turn the steering wheel 3.4 inches from one side where you turn all the way to the left, 3.4 turns will get you all the way to the right. That's uh, the distance of your steering wheel. Uh, valve train, you have 24 point or 24 valve dual overhead cam, and you can look at all of that. That's right there about that. Your fuel system, direct inject and port inject, which is so important for Toyota to do keep your engine clean and and running at max. Uh, Max efficiency, of course. Your exhaust system is your stainless steel exhaust system. You have your hybrid electric motor is a parallel hybrid system. Uh, what does that mean? Pretty much that it's in line with your transmission. It's not a separate system like a RAV4 or something like that. It's in line with the with the system. Your electric motor torque gives you 184 foot pounds of uh, torque from the electric motor. You got your normal eco and sport driving modes. Four wheel demand part time four wheel drive. It can turn on if it needs to. Um, uh, automatic limited slip differential. A lot of people are uh, really wanting that. Um, elect you have electric power steering with the power assisted rack and pinion. That helps with your lane departures, uh, your assist mode that's on there, which you normally would not get in a truck. Uh, brakes, electronically controlled braking system with your regenerative braking. Once again, that is a game changer for a Tundra. You're going to be able to grab back some power. Uh, from your braking system so to help you know if you drive it right you can probably get a little bit better than advertised um, I would guess like most hybrids tend to um, you have a tow hitch you have a class 4 tow hitch receiver wiring harness with your 7 uh, seven pin and your 4 pin uh, connectors on there tow haul driving mode of course uh, off road uh, engine and body undercovers so basically if you decide to take your $70,000 truck off road uh, you're going to have a little bit of protection on the bottom there of course um, so your turning circle diameter curb to curb so 50 feet so if you basically that's a good way to put it if you're uh, if you have a curb and it's a 50 foot curb you know and that's uh, you're going from one side to the other you should be able to make it um, weight rating 7780 of course equipment can change that a little bit but that is your uh, weight rating on the vehicle all right so your exterior so we're gonna, gonna look at this all right so this shows your standard bed of course that is with the long beds you can have either a long or a short bed but if you have the long bed then obviously the 6.5 is standard your deck rail system so you can have all of your adjustable tie downs um, your tailgate release bump switch located on your driver's side tail light. I did a video on that showing you guys how that drops it. Really cool feature to, uh, to have. You can also release that tailgate from your key. Uh, 20 inch dark gray painted alloy wheels, your LED fog lights, LED center, high mount stop light, of course, rain sensing washer linked variable and intermittent wipers. It can sense raindrops on your windshield and turn on for you guys. Um, your front door handles with your touch sensor, it's, it's a push button start. You guys have the ability to just grab the door handle. It'll lock or lock or unlock based on uh, grabbing that sensor, of course. Uh, front door handles with touch sensor. Um, that's what I was just talking about there. Your gloss black painted A-pillar, uh, black platinum door badge garnish window moldings, uh, tailgate spoiler over fenders, color keyed door handles and mirror caps, and your 4x4 tailgate badge. All right. Is that enough for you yet? Well, there's more. Um, <laughs> aluminum reinforced composite bed construction. We were talking about that a little bit earlier. You have a 120 volt, 400 watt bed mounted AC power outlet um, and your LED bed lights. Uh, of course, your Tundra is stamped into your easy lower uh, uh, tailgate that has that smart switch release that we were just talking about as well. Premium LED headlights with chrome trim. So if you're asking, does it have LED headlights? Well, there you go. It's 
right there, guys. You have LED headlights, LED daytime running lights, uh, your sequential turn signals, on off feature, of course, your automatic leveling adjustment. So you can still level your headlights. So uh, some people have asked about leveling the headlights like you can do on most Tundras. Um, and yes, you can still do that. Premium LED with your uh, taillights with your sequential turn signals. So your turn signals will look like they're going one way or the other uh, when you turn them on. It's kind of cool. Um, LED trailer reverse assist. So it's actually a light that shines on your trailer for you. Um, heated power auto dimming outside mirrors with turn signal and blind spot warning indicators and power folding. So this is important. Power fo folding and reverse tilt down feature. All right. So you still have that on there. So dark chrome accent and mesh grill with your dark chrome surround, black roof mounted shark fin antenna and your iForce Max hood match, which means you have a iForce Max, right? And guess what? There's more. So your exterior dimensions, you can kind of take a look at those and you can see what they are. If those are important to you, definitely look at those. Um, you have your leather trim seat with your contrast stitching, 10 way power adjustable driver front and passenger seats with a four way power adjustable lumbar up, down, in, out guys, um, on your four way lumbar heated and ventilated front and rear seats. So look right here, front and rear seats, both are heated and ventilated. So, um, not just leaving the, uh, rear, rear seat people to uh, fend for themselves. Of course, uh, smart key system. We already talked about that, uh, backup camera that's standard on all of them drive mode select you can you know select what you're going into um, rear seat air vents that can be important if you have a pet back there of course heated steering wheel standard it's an option on some of the lower levels uh, but it seems to be going on almost every one of them um, wireless smartphone charging your power window so of course your window can go up and down so your power vertical window um, that is the whole window in the back um, and your power windows with one touch auto up and down that's on all of your other windows digital display auto dimming rearview mirror with compass and home link so that digital display means that it's uh, almost a camera it's pretty much uh, it's a display in itself it has its own camera for that um, electronic locking fuel door you hit a button to open it uh, front and rear led map lights instrument panel and door ambient lighting uh, your illuminated driver passenger footwells front and rear LED pocket lights, soft touch instrument panel, which it, it's really nice to touch, center console, and your door surfaces. Um, so you also have your driver's seat memory function. Um, you can actually set that as well to your key fob. I'll show you how to do that at some point here too. Um, you uh, have your 60-40 split folding rear seat with your center armrest. Um, and your cup holders, your 12.3 digital meter with your selectable gauge display screens and your fuel economy driver assist, all that's uh, all on that 12.3. That is your center instrument cluster, by the way, um, the 12.3 is. So um, that's the same size that some of the radios are, like in the uh, Highlander, the Venza, they have those as options. Uh, panoramic view monitor with the cameras. Um, dual zone automatic climate control with air filtration and individual temperature settings uh, for the driver and front passenger. Um, your leather trim power tilt telescoping steering wheel with your phone audio display and for infotainment and your driver assist controls. Uh, your fixed center console, of course, with gated shift lever. Some people ask what gated shift lever is. That means that you kind of move it off to the side to move it down, and it has different spots that it falls into for you. Um, but uh, four cup holder, center storage bin, your 120 volt, 400 watt. We already talked about that. That's also in your rear seat, though, uh, not just in the bed uh, for your AC power outlet. Uh, power tilt slide, panoramic moonroof with your power sunshade. So the panoramic moonroof is standard in this particular uh, vehicle. So um, actually, I think all your hybrids have it standard, to be quite honest with you. Uh, acoustic laminated windshield, um, rear door sunshades, overhead console, rear window control, sunglass storage, safety connect. Um, that's a really cool feature. Um, the front and rear assist grips, the illuminated center console storage bin. So you actually have an illuminated uh, center console. You can look down in there and see it. Glove box has a light too. Uh, platinum in uh, instrument panel badge so that's on your instrument panel say platinum and your leather shift knob and I bet you thought that was all 
but it's not. So we're the audio media, you have your 14 inch, that's standard. There's not gonna be the small one in this one. Um, you're only gonna have the 14 inch multimedia in your platinum, 12 JBL speakers, subwoofer amplifier, CarPlay, Android Auto, Sirius. Um, those are all standard on this. Then you also have your safety connect, uh, which is that push button. If you it has vehicle locator, it's got all kinds of stuff on there for you. Um, with your one year trial remote connect, which is where you can remote start your car from your phone. Um, that has a year trial service connect with a three year trial connect right to the service department. Tell you, hey, you've got service that you need. Wi Fi connect with three gigs and a one month trial. Um, is all part of your multimedia system and available connected services. Um, Toyota Care in most of the country is included as well. No cost uh, to you. It's your maintenance for your first two years, 25,000 miles. Um, also roadside assistance at no cost to you. Safety and convenience. This is where Toyota beats literally everybody in my opinion, but I'm not wrong. Um, Toyota Safety Sense 2.5. Pre-collision system with your pedestrian detection, full speed range, dynamic radar cruise control. That means it will take you all the way to a stop. You tap the gas, it'll start to take you back up to whatever you have it set to. Really cool feature. Lane departure with alert with steering assist. Like I said, steering assist is new in the Tundra. Um, it's the first truck to get it. So it, if uh, you're crossing over your line, it'll beep, beep, beep and bump you back in your lane. And then you see right beside it says lane tracing. While you're in dynamic radar cruise control, that lane tracing will help you to maintain your lane. Automatic high beams, of course, that's exactly what it sounds like. If it sees headlights or taillights uh, ahead of you, you will be in low beams. If it sees neither, hey, you're going to be able to see. Um, <laughs> just good, right? And then road sign assist, it will see uh, several road signs, including your speed limit sign, uh, stop, yield, do not enter. It will see all those signs. It will put them on the, on the dash. So if you look down, you say it says do not enter. Last time you pass with do not enter, you're probably going the wrong way. Um, front and rear parking braking assist with automatic braking uh, or front and rear parking assist with automatic braking. So it'll have the beeps for you as you're getting closer to something. And if you just keep rolling into it, it's going to kind of tap them brakes for you so that uh, you don't roll into that pole or whatever it was. Um, eight total airbags, including driver, passenger, side, knee airbags, and uh, curtain airbags. Um, Three-point seat belts, that's, that is what it is. It's been around for a while. Um, child protectant rear door locks, of course, with window lockout controls. You know, that's been around for a while as well. Star safety system, been around for a while. Hopefully you guys know what those are. Uh, check out some of my other videos if you don't. Hill start assist, it'll help you go up on a hill without rolling back. Blind spot mo monitor with rear cross traffic alert and trailer merge warning. So the new one on that one is trailer merge warning. So blind spot monitor is what it is. It's in the uh, mirrors that lights up when somebody's in your blind spot. Uh, as an assist, you should still look behind you regardless of what some people say. You should still look behind you even if your blind spot monitor is not on just to make sure that it's still clear. But uh, that is definitely an assist for some people. So then you have rear cross traffic alert. If somebody's coming behind you, a bike walking, uh, driving a car, then it will actually alert you that somebody's about to cross behind you. You just pause a little bit after you hear the tones and uh, usually something's going to pass behind you. Trailer merge warning. What it does is it takes into account the length of the trailer and will extend that blind spot monitor so that it will actually stay on longer while you are pulling a trailer. If somebody is in the blind spot, that's meant to help you out. All right. Tire pressure monitor system. That's normal. Um, you know, driver and passenger active headrest. Um, they can go up and down too. Um, latch, obviously for uh, kids, you got several latch points. Um, safety connect, we already talked about safety connect and drive start control. Oh um, man, I, I know that's gotta, that's gotta be it, right? And guess what? Other than the little disclaimers that are on the bottom here, and you can pause if you guys wanna read that, of course. But other than that, you can uh, kinda get a, idea of what it was that was on there and whoa i'm right there all right so give you a great view right so platinum Whew, i was trying to get through pretty quick i didn't want this video to be an hour long right there is just a 
ton, 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 ton of stuff on the Platinum just to make it an amazing truck. Still within the price point of other like, like vehicles and actually it's probably um, a l priced lower than what you'll find in other vehicles, but the rating should be higher, the reliability should be better, all that stuff should be better. Um, like I said, this is the first Platinum that I saw anywhere in the country. It is not coming to me and I'm sure it's pre-sold wherever it's at, but this is the first hybrid Tundra Platinum. Liking to bring you guys these build sheets because you guys keep asking me to so hopefully this worked out for you and you guys can uh, definitely tell me what you think but this is the platinum toyota tundra i force max steve watch me toyota nashville hopefully you guys can like and subscribe hopefully you got a little benefit out of that and uh, we had a little fun together steve watch me toyota you guys have a good one talk to you soon